No yes. way! Yes. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it's time to get water! Oh, oh god, there is water, I'm so happy. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Gone Wild Australia. Today we are doing a survival challenge with only three survival items. Guys, no food, no water, and we're out here for 24 hours. We're going to try and survive off this beach land and see if we can make it back tomorrow alive. So the only three items we have chosen to bring on this survival mission are... A knife. A plastic bag. And, and a, a fishing, fishing rod. rod. The purpose of the knife is to cut down objects such as trees, also to gut fish if we catch fish. The purpose of the plastic bag is to potentially start a fire. I'm hoping this works. And guys, the obvious reason for the fishing rod is to fish and catch. We have no experience at all. The only experience we have is from watching YouTube videos. So if you're watching this and you're like, oh, they could have done this better or have any suggestions for the next mission, comment down below and we'll be replying to all of your comments. We appreciate all your support, help, tips. And if you have any questions also, comment down below. So, we just need to check. You just need to get the right one. All right, guys, so we found the right rock. Looks like there's a bit yep, of a family grab that down one. here. That is beautiful bait. Perfect. Which will help me cook, uh, potentially catch a big fish for tonight. Look at that. Oh, he's trying to... Sweet. He's trying to eat me. All right, so we're going to go up the coast, away from all civilization, and just find a good spot where there's a lot of trees and things to be able to shelter. So we're going to go down that way. Let's go. I was just having a conversation with Bo because we're both like literally as we said in the intro like new to this as I'm trying to find a little bait fish um, so I can catch something bigger later on I have seen online we do have to be really really careful with rock fish basically a fish that looks like a rock and also blue ring octopuses yeah the scary thing with rock fish is that they're so camouflaged so if you're stepping in rock pools you got to keep a real big eye out for these rock fish just because they're hidden really well and what they can do is just like spike you inject in, and, and inject you with their poison and it's very venomous the most poisonous fish in the world right yeah so guys once again we obviously know the very very basics but that's what we've been told to look out for oh wait i think i, I think i can set up base here come look at this so there's like a dip here protection from all wind so we won't be caught that night there's our firewood right there. Unlimited firewood. Oh. And one thing we didn't mention, which probably some of you noticed, is that we're doing this whole challenge barefoot as well. And this is what I was saying to Brooke before as well. My feet are really hard at the bottom, so I've got like more resistance to sharp objects and heat. So we've just decided, we just got to this location, but there is a big, big, load of like sticks and wood there and we're worried that there's going to be like snakes and stuff especially if i'm catching food we're just going to go up on the hill let's um go up there get Bo started on the um shelter and then um i'll tr go and try and find some food so yeah it is a little windy up here but i think the good thing for that is that it flies. Of like flies and also how nice would it be just waking up and looking at that That's awesome. So we were down there, guys. But look at that. That just looks snake infested to me. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Look at that. We've got a V. So what I can do is stand it up and put a beam across. Probably chop it a little bit. Yeah, I'll chop it down a little bit so we can get the right height for the second beam. So let's bring that up. That's sick. I'll probably want the hole about this deep. Just so like if there's any wind tonight, the um shelter's like really um strong. Sweet. 
Sweet. Nice. Killed Got it. Him. Well done. Nice. Move that way. Man. I'm just trying to find another V-shaped stick. Obviously for the other structural part of the um, whew, shelter we got going. Is bloody hot. All right, we've found the perfect V-shape. It's up on the tree, so Brooks tall, so I'm gonna get you to cut it down. So guys, we've obviously edited this, but um, we've been literally hacking at this tray for like 20 minutes. So that just shows, especially when you've got no water, like how much energy and like you get dehydrated really, really quickly. Now, oh, there's bugs. Oh. Uh, I can I can snap that now. I'm gonna give it a red hot crack. <laughs> oh, oh, yes! Nice. That's exactly what we're Perfect. After. So we're going to take this back to our um, base. We'll get cracking on the shelter. I think that gave me, just getting that branch gave me the energy back that I lost from chopping it down. Woohoo! And here's our second one. Oh, that's the same one I stepped on before. Look at my feet. Feel my feet. I mean, yeah, just yeah, you got a couple prickles in there. That tide's working my favour. It's coming in. Look at this. First time ever coming out, surviving off the land. It's a frame of a shelter. We're gonna get some sticks, build a back end, chuck some leaves on so we're nice and tight for the night. Tight for the night, I like it. Thanks, mate. So this is dry bark here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. There, that's it there, really fine powder. Guys, if I get this started, This is definitely not the easiest thing to do. I think it is getting hot. It's burning my eyes to look at it. So here's the progress with the shelter. Just covering it up right now. What, the fire? Yes. No way. No yes. way! Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god! Wait, put sticks on it, put sticks on it. Don't lose it, don't lose it. Wait, 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 wait. not too much, not too much. Oh. Dude, I was, oh. guys, I'm not, no word of a lie, I was sitting there for what, two hours, about <laughs> two hours. Guys, that just proves it's all about persistence. Like, I wanted to give up so many times. Finally got a fire. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, ha, ha, you! Now, if anyone knows what plants to put on top of fires to get rid of mosquitoes, please comment down below. We'd love to know for future missions. Shelter looks epic. Yeah, the shelter's sick. It's gonna keep us nice and covered throughout the night. I feel really nice right now underneath it. I just want to, if not water, maybe some food in my stomach. Yeah, all right, well, I'm going to go out right now to punch up there about probably half a kilometre. So, Brooke's gone out for a fish. It's given me a little time to 
get my energy back and just relax a little bit because uh, I was working pretty hard on the shelter for I don't know how many hours I lose track of time out here um, I wanted to tell you about this device Zolio I bought this device just in case anything hits a fan just in case an airplane crash in front of me and I can hit a button a rescue team will be out so what you do with this is you hold this SOS button down for three seconds and then a rescue team and your and your family back at home will be alerted so if you want to cancel that after the three seconds you hold it down for another five seconds and then the uh, rescue team will not worry about that and then on top here which is what i really like is um because we're out of signal because we're in the middle of nowhere i can hit this top button up here and it sends a text message to my family saying that I'm safe and that I'm okay uh, through satellite. So that's really cool. This is really important if you want to go out camping, surviving. It's a last resort. I didn't include this as an item as it is a last resort just in case anything goes bad. But yeah. All right, let's go see what Brooke's up to. We've got fire, shelter. Water would be great, but I don't think we're going to get that. Food would just absolutely top it off. Also guys, keep in mind, this whole thing has been done barefoot. We're not messing around. There's this little sand bed just coming up here. Still quite shallow, I might still have to punch out a little bit more. So we're gonna wait for the tide to come in and then hopefully, cause the distance to get out there and then it gets knee deep. So um, what are we gonna do? Yeah, I just need to probably rest up a little bit, wait till the tide comes in then we'll go out for a fish and then hopefully get something to eat cause I'm so hungry. No, I think water is just, we're Mount not gonna fish. have water till tomorrow. Yeah. Cause there's no way of us getting water at all. <laughs> as we just need this sun to go away so we, um, we don't get as dehydrated. I feel like we're hot now, but later on we're gonna be like, so cold. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, so we've just realized there's a boat all the way out there. Which we were sort of near before. Um, so what Brooke is gonna do is gonna launch the drone and fly it out to the boat and see if they're catching any fish. And if they're catching any fish, we're thinking about swimming out there and asking if we can have one and a little bit of water because <laughs> we're starving. Oh, hopefully he doesn't leave. It looks like he's going out. Yeah, and also if we're going to all that effort to walk out there and swim to the boat, we deserve a good feed and some water. Oh, if they give us water, I'm just sculling it. I'll ask for a couple bottles to bring to our little shelter. That sounds like... Just chucked a big log on, so if we do go out, give us time for the fire to keep burning. That's so funny. All right, guys. So we're just <laughs> we're trying to check if they're actually catching squid out there to see if it's worth going out. They just gave us a cheeky wave. We got, we'll we'll chuck the footage on, guys. All right, cool. All right, guys. So our car is literally a six-kilometer walk. So we are very hungry and very very thirsty. We're even more thirsty than what we are hungry. So it's a five-hundred-meter walk out and then a 400 meter swim to the boat. So I'm gonna walk out, swim to the boat and ask if they got a couple bottles of water. Before and they leave. Yeah, before they leave, so I better hurry up. Brookie, get the drone shot, yeah? Let's do it. This could be really dangerous because I'm running, because I don't want to waste time. I don't want the boat to go, but what I'm doing by running is losing a lot of energy, so. It's a risk I'm willing to take though. <laughs> so my 500 meter run has ended. Now we start the swim. Yeah, they can see me and hear me. Water to drink. I've got any water. She's 
come get water. So me and my mate are doing a survival challenge. We're on the beach. Uh, we have no food. food. We have no water. So I thought I'd come out here and ask you for water. It's the only way for me to drink water. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Weird, Thank you so much. Just Thank you so much. That was a weird interaction, but we got some water. Oh my god. I thought I wasn't about to get it. I thought I was gonna drive away. Oh, I got this water, I'm so happy. I'm not gonna wait to drink it till I bring it back to the shelter. Um, oh, I am so, so tired. I thought they were going to take off. I thought they weren't going to give it to me. If they didn't give it to me, it would have, I probably would have just finished the mission because I think I've swallowed that much seawater that I'd get sick. Thank God. Oh, starting to really cool down now, especially out here in the ocean. So can't wait to get to base and get in that campfire. Oh, I'm just sipping on water. <laughs> I, don't believe you. I swear I haven't where's had that, any. Where's that gone? I swear he gave it I to me like that. Sip oh. oh, dude. I, I just don't know if I'm going to pull away from this. I swear I didn't have any. Yes, you did. I swear I didn't. I swear. You I swear. so did. Oh, dude, you deserve that. Oh. <laughs> so, where can I drink up to? Alright, so you can drink up to. There. No, but what if we want to alternate? Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, bottle caps. Oh, that's pathetic. Well, I need one more. Sip. I'm so thirsty. Wait, can I just drink half now, and I'll give you half? All right. Like we won't ration it. <laughs> right. I'll ration mine. You know when you see like 127 hours, it's like I'll oh, ration it. But no, nah, stop that. All right. <laughs> Yeah, that. Oh, it's so good. Just a little bit more. <laughs> no. Yeah. You probably are still the same dehydrated because you swam all that way. Anyone know what spider that is? Comment down below. Oh, it's hot. Oh. Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> Now I want some water to wash it down. <laughs> Not that bad. We're in the process of transferring the fire from there to here, because this is where we're going to be sleeping tonight. We want our little kids to be nice and warm. So, I'm just going to put that there. Come over. So what I'm attempting to make here is a filtration system. I'm not sure if it works with salt water. So at the bottom is material, which I've ripped off from my sleeve here. And then we got fine sand. And then just above there is charcoal, which I got from the flyer. And then I've been putting it in the sand and rubbing it in to make it cooler so I could break it down. And then after that, we're gonna go for a little bit more coarse sand. And then after the coarse sand, we're gonna get uh, rocks and pebbles. I'm going to try a couple attempts of pouring it down and filtering it and see if it has any salt left in it at all. I'll let you know after this to see if you can filter salt water from the sea. All right, so let's give this a go. We've got the salt water in here from straight from the sea. This is actually making me so thirsty. Crap in it, I thought it would work. Oh, yep, there we go. 
Oh, see, I reckon it's still salty because I'm not sure if this filtration system is only for like lake water or like contaminated water, but we'll soon find out. I'm just going to taste it, see if I have to maybe run it back. Not drinkable. All right, so Brooks here. He just called out Kui, and he said, "Are you ready to eat?" Yeah, you were gone for ages. Dude, that was fun. I was starting to think you weren't coming back. Three closed ones each. No, they're all closed. Right, so they just cook on, like this in their shell. Yeah, in the shell. Dude, three each. Sweet. Look at that cooking up. So, so at this point, we don't know what these shellfish are. But we've seen them around, and we're pretty sure they're safe to eat. If anyone knows what these large shellfish are, throw it in the comments down below. Right, so these are what they look like, guys. Still no idea what they are. <laughs> it's all about learning. So these just open straight up when you chuck them in the fire. Yeah. We'll try two first. Yeah. Should just open up with the heat. Okay. Can you grab it with your hand? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I guess this is how we learn. <laughs> that looks disgusting. How to survive. <sighs> it's actually not that bad. Like just oysterish? Mmm. Very salty. <laughs> oh really? Mm. Like, but like, <laughs> looks so gross. <laughs> you can I, say that about oysters, though. You can. It's just because like we're, we're aren't used to it. taste, yeah. yeah. It's not bad. Are you gonna try yours? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you eat it all. It's very slimy. <laughs> oh. Are you just eating it all? Mm. You went for the whole thing. <laughs> I just had to oyster it. Yeah, nice. I mean, I think it's just because we don't know what it is. Yeah. Like, it's not that bad. Like, I'll definitely have another one. We are? Let's go. Like, I'm that hungry. All right, we'll chuck it another two on. Let's go. Guys, if you've made it this far throughout this video, Make sure you let us know down in the comments and we'll reply back and chuck you a follow on whatever social media platform you'd like. You can tell how dehydrated you are because you're talking like this. Absolutely and completely buggered. It's... What's 2 the time? 2.25. And I've got about 20 minutes of sleep. Brooke's got about 5 minutes. Not even 4. Um, why is that, Brooke? Bit of thumping headache. If it's not my thumping headache, then my back's burning on the fire. If it's not that, it's a bird that's trying to shit on us. <laughs> There's literally a bird flapping over the fire for a good, like, solid 10 seconds. <laughs> we wake up and we're like, what do you want? <laughs> and the tides yeah. come way up. And Started yeah. making some noises. It just won't shut up. Sweet. Sunsets at six o'clock, so we got about yeah three and a half hours. <laughs> You're a crazy guy. <laughs> Brooke, let's go. Brooke, let's go. We did it. We did it. Hmm? 
We did it. We lasted the night and saw sharing food and water. Let's go. I'm dehydrated. <laughs> oh, dude. I reckon I got like four minutes sleep. Oh, I don't even think I was slept at all. I was just looking at the fire the whole time. Did you set the camera up? Yeah. It's right there. Dude, I need chiropractor or something on my back. <laughs> and some food. Oh, food, food. Oh, if we were in double A, we could Dude, get our own I fish. I was pushing my head under my t-shirt all night, so I acted like I was in a tent. <laughs> Didn't quite work out. Mate, you're sleeping on the dirt. <laughs>